Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Emma for those of you who are new here and I would love it if you guys subscribed, liked this video, stuck around. I would appreciate it so, so, so much. You can also check out my latest video down in the description box. I always have the last video that I uploaded linked. I upload Wednesdays and Sundays for those of you who are new here. I would also love it if you guys checked out my socials. You can follow me on there. We can connect, be friends on other platforms. But yeah, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today is just going to be a sort of cat Casual sit down video as you can tell by the title I'm filming a what I spend in a week as a 22 year old college student so a little bit about me if you're new or just a refresher I am a 22 year old college student like I said I attend Kansas State University as a full-time student and I am studying public relations journalism and I'm also a business minor so that's a little bit of a rundown about me. I live in Kansas, born and raised here, and I am a full-time college student, like I said, and I have a part-time retail job, and I pretty much pay for everything on my own. I thought it would just be interesting. I love watching these videos, especially with a lot of the YouTubers that I watch. They go to college on the East Coast, like New York, Boston, that sort of thing, or abroad, or they just live in an entirely different state than me, where a cost of living is different, and it's just interesting to see because everyone's spending patterns are so different um so i thought i would film this video i thought it would just be fun and also just i chose this on a random week just like on monday i woke up and was like i'm gonna film that video like i'm just gonna track my spending for this week and then just sit down in a week or a couple weeks and just talk about that specific week so this is like very very like real and i just picked up the camera and decided to film it and just sort of track my spending for that specific week. Obviously every week is different. Some weeks I buy groceries like I said. Sometimes I need gas. Sometimes I just spend more or less. So you will see that here. I haven't calculated the total yet but I have everything written down of what I bought. So haven't really looked over that too much yet but yeah I thought this video would be interesting comment down below if you're a college student or if you're in high school and if you find these videos interesting without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into the video and let's see what I spend in a week okay so I have everything written down here on my iPad sorry if I'm messing with my hair I just cut it I chopped it off and I got like slight bangs so don't really know how to style it quite yet so I'm just kind of like put it behind my ears but yeah I have everything written down on my iPad I took this from October 19th through the 25th so the week of October 19th is the one that I'm doing so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get into it so Monday is the first day that we have and I was pretty good about not spending this week or this day which is really nice I worked in the morning and then I had a lot of school work to do in the day but then I watched a YouTube video this always gets me and she's one of my new favorite youtubers she's from canada her name is taylor kruger i'll link her channel down below but she posted about these american eagle leggings um flared leggings which have been like a new trend even though anyone who's like was born in like the 90s or who's like around my age 22 or something you know that they're called yoga pants at least in the midwest they were called yoga pants but she posted about these flared leggings from American Eagle and they looked so good on her and I freaking love American Eagle like it's one of my favorite clothing stores I don't know why their stuff is just so soft so comfortable they have amazing basics but she posted about these leggings and I had to have them obviously and I had a reward for American Eagle I feel like I always have a reward probably because I shop there quite a bit but they were already on sale and I just decided to order them and it's free shipping to the store so I just ordered them and with the reward and the free shipping and stuff they were only $12 and I freaking love them like honestly $12 for a good pair of lounge pants I've worn them like I don't want to say every day since I've got them but I've worn them quite a few times so I definitely got my money's worth out of them already I'll link them down below I still think they are currently on sale but I would run because I've noticed a lot when I'm packing orders at All Navy too, like the yoga pants, like flared leggings have been really on trend. Obviously, I think it's because of TikTok and Pinterest and stuff, also Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, so my total for Monday was $12.82. So yeah, let's move on. Okay, on Tuesday, I went to study for midterms with my little sister at a coffee shop in our 
like downtown area I guess you could say it's a bar district but they have a lot of coffee shops and we went to a bookstore in Manhattan that makes really really good coffee so I just decided to get a vanilla cappuccino just because I don't want to go in there and sit and use their wi-fi and take up space from like a paying customer like if you're going to like a coffee shop or something to study you should always like buy something even if it's just like a pastry or a small drink or whatever so I just decided to get a small um, vanilla cappuccino and it's a local business it's locally owned it's the only one of its kind so you know I just like I wanted to support their business and the uh, girls who are working were so sweet so nice and the cappuccino was amazing so with tip it was four dollars and 76 cents which might seem like a lot for like the smallest thing of coffee but it was delicious and it's a local business and especially in 2020 where local businesses have been hit very very hard it's just nice to shop small support local and it's just nice when it's a fellow college student like they're working just like I have a retail job so yeah with tip it was four dollars and 76 cents and I just sipped on that it was delicious definitely worth every penny and yeah it definitely gave me fuel to study for my midterms and then for lunch my sister and I decided to grab Jimmy John's for lunch which was six dollars and 31 cents so my total for Tuesday came to eleven dollars and seven cents so I'm not gonna add up the total until the end but yeah eleven dollars and seven cents was my total for Tuesday. Okay, moving on to Wednesday. Um, I got groceries, I guess you could say. I literally got three things at the store. I stopped in after work. I needed coffee. And if you watched a couple of vlogs ago, I was on like the hunt for the Starbucks blonde roast, um, like ice espresso that they sell at the grocery store, but it had been sold out in stores here for like a few weeks. And I was like searching for it and I went in hoping that they had restocked it and they hadn't so I just ended up buying just the Starbucks like cold brew concentrate and then I bought two creamers because my sister and I were out of our pumpkin spice one which we use pretty much every day and then I just bought a backup vanilla one because the other one was almost gone and the groceries came to $15.44 which seems kind of ridiculous for a thing of iced coffee and two creamers but honestly it really adds up like just three coffees from Starbucks would have been 15 bucks or more so honestly the coffee and the creamer last way longer so $15.44 and then that night I kind of got desperate and I needed a lot of help with like studying because I had my accounting midterm and my statistics midterm the next day so I decided to splurge I guess you could say not really on Chegg study so it definitely helped on my homework as well and yeah it helped me understand the concepts a little bit more so that was $16.56 so my total for Wednesday was $32 even so not too bad so far like I guess most of these were not necessities at all but yeah not too bad so far moving on to Thursday I actually spent no money on Thursday um I wasn't feeling well this day because I started my period TMI so I just kind of lounged around at home all day took a nap didn't really spend any money so that's a good thing so the grand total for Thursday was zero dollars okay moving on to Friday so on Friday I begged my boyfriend to go buy me Sprite because I just like Sprite when I'm not feeling well so I gave him my card and that was two dollars and 17 cents for like a big bottle of Sprite and then for dinner that night my boyfriend and I decided to eat out and I kind of just like treated him because he was so nice to me that day and like I said we ate out like a couple times this week just because we didn't have groceries. I bought groceries the week after this, but we decided to order pizza and it was like one of those pizza deals where it comes with like two pizzas, like breadsticks and then like a dessert. So it was a little bit more expensive than just like one pizza would have been, but we ordered pizza. So that was $26.15 and we ate it and it was delicious. And that fed us the next day too because we had leftovers and then we just binge watched Stranger Things that day. So my grand total for Friday was $28.32. So definitely would have been a lot bearable if I hadn't ordered the pizza, but like I said, it fed us for two days and it was just kind of like a special treat. Um, I think it's okay to do that sometimes, but yeah. So grand total for Friday was $28.32. Okay, on Saturday, it was another no spending day. I don't know 
why because normally my boyfriend and I go out and like do things on Saturday whether it be like grab Chick-fil-A or go to Starbucks or something but I guess that's good so zero dollars was spent on Saturday as well and then Sunday to wrap up the week I worked all day Sunday I normally work all day on Sundays and after work I bought two sweatshirts because they were on sale so I bought this hoodie actually it's just a long oversized hoodie and I actually didn't have a black hoodie which was crazy to me so I just bought this one because it was on sale and then I also bought a just like normal sweatshirt pullover that's kind of oversized just a heather gray one and then I bought another pack of masks so I bought five masks and that total was $27.64 so that's pretty good for two sweatshirts and a pack of masks so definitely not a necessity or anything but uh, it's starting to get a lot colder here in Kansas. Well, at least it was, it's like 80 degrees today on November 3rd, but also it's election day. I voted today, I don't, my sticker is on my desk, but so it's starting to get colder here in Kansas is what I'm trying to say. And I just needed a couple hoodies, especially because I got rid of a bunch of mine. And that is it. So that is all I spent on Sunday and that's it for the week. So I haven't even added up the total yet or anything. I'm gonna do that now. I have my calculator that I use for statistics and accounting because I'm currently filming on my phone. But I'm gonna add all of this stuff up and then I'll come back in a second and show you the grand total. Okay, I have a grand total here. Drum roll. My grand total for this week was $111.85. So $111.85. For me, I feel like that's kind of bad. Like I don't normally spend money like that on a weekly basis because I bought the leggings, like I bought the hoodies and I ate out twice. So normally like groceries and little things like that. I also bought the Czech study, which is not a normal purchase at all. But yeah, I normally don't spend that much. Some weeks I spend more because I buy groceries or Sid and I sometimes go out to eat more or I was like in October when they first or September when they first released the Starbucks fall drinks I was going to Starbucks like every other day which was so bad and adding up but normally I don't really spend that much in a week um but yeah I guess that's not really bad however like depending on how you look at it again like I said everybody spends money in different ways some people don't spend their money at all some people spend way more than me some people spend you know way less some people spend the same amount it's it really all just depends so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video it's definitely fun just to sit down and like look at what i spent i normally wouldn't do this but like i said i really want to start budgeting and sort of being more intuitive and cautious when it comes to money that is what i spend in a week this is pretty typical but also it's a bit more than what i would normally spend without like groceries or anything like that just because not every week do i like buy new clothes or anything like that but yeah let me know down below what college you go to or if you are in college what state you live in if this is like a reasonable amount to you or if you spend way less or way more um it's just very interesting like i said money is so personable to everyone or money is so personal spending habits are so personal to everyone it differs di differentiates from person to person so yeah definitely let me know this video was super fun to film let me know some more video ideas down below because the holiday season is coming up and i want to film more for you guys and put out more content maybe start uploading three or four times a week instead of just two but yeah, this video was super fun. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, follow me on my socials down below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.